Hello my friends, Paul here in the Rojovi Music Workshop. Sorry, just checking the microphone again. <laughs> Paul here in the Rojovi Music Workshop and welcome to part four of the Japanese Shamisen Sanshin Build Project. Okay, so uh, in part three you saw that um, I basically finished two of the bodies, well shaped them at least anyway, they're not final sanded or anything, uh, but got the basic shape of both of them. Um, I've got one neck partially done and uh, I'm going to start on the other neck now to show you the process of how I got to that stage. So uh, the first part is to cut, cut the, the bulk of the meat away to get the basic shape so you've got, kind of got the neck coming down then it steps back and then goes down again which will be the shaft going through the body. Okay so I've got my uh, table saw set up, um, got the, the fence set at the right uh, position to hopefully get the decent cut. Now I'm going to be perfectly honest this is the first time I will have used this table saw hopefully all will go well but you never know these these you know these tools can be uh, temperamental <laughs> unpredictable let's say so hopefully it'll all go well but if not you will see it first well I'll see it first then I'll upload it and you'll see it next <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to switch the microphone off again for this process because once again I need my dust extraction and the machine itself is pretty noisy, especially when cutting. And hopefully this time I'll remember to switch the microphone back on. That would be good. Okay, so I'm going to switch the microphone off and crack on with this little job.
microphone on. <laughs> okay, that seemed to go fairly well. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Um, I mean, you can't really see very well what's going on there. So I'm going to finish those cuts uh, by hand with the Japanese saw. Uh, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, let's see. Okay. It's a bit awkward for me. Let me just turn it around. Being a lefty and all that. <laughs> okay. Uh, that scrap, so that's got to go up against the front there. Because of those broken teeth, it's not cutting very well. It's not too bad. go as planned. It basically just ripped off that piece of the wood. Uh, <laughs> now I should be able to glue that back together, it should be fine. <laughs> I don't believe that. Uh, yeah I think I should get away with that. That should glue back together just fine. And this is what happens when you make live recordings you see. Sometimes things go wrong. <laughs> Never mind. Not the end of the world. Uh, okay, so hmm, it's it's uh, it's quite interesting actually because uh, the next the next stage of this is to cut the cut the um, taper in this shaft. Now I'm just actually wondering, now that that's broken off like that, whether or not it would actually be easier to cut that taper while it's still um, detached. <laughs> not that it's supposed to be. Um, 
or should I glue it back together first? Uh, yeah, I, I, I will glue it back together first because I've got more, you know, stability, something to hold on to when I'm making the cut. Whether it, where, where, whereas <laughs> when it's like that, it's you know, there's not so much to hold on to. So, luckily, that's a fairly clean break, like through the grain, and. Uh, uh, I'm wondering actually if I should put some kind of hardware in there as well, but I don't know. I think I think that's going to fix up all right. Oh, I've got to open the door. One second. Yeah, I, I actually think that that's going to glue up okay. So. I think I'd best just crack on with that right now. But I have to say, I was not expecting that to happen. It's strange because it's, uh, it's quite a close grain. Um, fairly strong, normally. It just shows how strong I am, doesn't it? <laughs> but, yeah, I was not expecting that to happen. Um, but... You know, it's uh, as we've seen twice already, you know, things can go wrong, do go wrong. I would much rather that that broke than me cut a finger or two off. Uh, but, you know, that, that, that machine, it did cut pretty well, really. I'm quite happy with that. Um, because it's just, it's basically a hobbyist machine. It's not an industrial one. It was, with that long cut, it was starting to... Um, get a bit tired so I, I was easing off the pressure that's why it took a bit longer I wasn't you know pushing it forcing it through um, because that's when you get problems with machines like that where the blade will catch flip the piece of wood up in a fraction of a blink and you know that's when you start to get one or two problems <laughs> so I wasn't forcing it I eased off the pressure and just kind of guided it through let the saw do its work and uh, it seemed to work pretty well. Very happy with that. I mean, this, this is tough wood. It's, it's quite uh, strong, hard wood, which is why that, you know, kind of surprised me. Uh, but there it is. Like I said, easy enough fix. I just grabbed my wood glue and I'll get a couple of clamps. <coughs> so I'm gonna obviously glue this back together get it all clamped up and I'm going to need to let, let it set for quite a while anyway before I continue work on it so how's the time now? I've no idea uh, oh my goodness really? Oh no. <laughs> okay so it's a little after 2 o'clock um, I don't have another lesson until 5 o'clock today so I've still got plenty of time um, so I, I might carry on with something else and make another video, I'm not sure yet but let's get this glued up um, let's get some stronger clamps. Uh, let's get with these ones. These are a bit more heavy duty. Okay. I'm not going to worry about leather pads and things like that because all of this wood has got to be carved and shaped anyway. So at this stage, it really doesn't matter. What's important is that I get that joint back together absolutely perfectly and get it well clamped. <coughs> and as I said, that should be absolutely fine. <coughs> Shouldn't be a problem with that at all. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, you know, the, the good thing is when you get a break like this, and if it's fairly clean, which it is, it's really simple to put it back together. And you know it's going to line up perfectly. When you get problems with glue joints is when you make the joint and you have to make sure those surfaces meet perfectly and uh, you know get, getting everything aligned and everything when you've got something like this it's actually easier uh, I'm not going to use a paintbrush on this I'm just going to use my high-end glue spreader <laughs> so I put a little bit of glue on this one he says here we go I want to get a decent amount of glue on here because I want to make sure this is a very strong joint so I'll probably I will put glue on both sides so, as I've said many times before, with glue joints, especially with this wood glue, it's not about how much glue you put on, it's 
the most important thing is 100% coverage on the joint, as you can see that is. Um, you don't want too much glue because, you know, if you've got too much, then the majority of it is just going to squeeze out of the joint. So that's kind of defeating the object somewhat. So, as I said, you don't want a lot of glue, but you do want 100% coverage on the joint. Okay, so that should be decent. Okay, so let's just get those together. As I said, it's you know because because of it's it's broken through the grain, uh, it's really pretty easy to get everything lined up again. Just double check that's all lined up, seems to be good. Just get all the glue squeeze out, wipe that up before I lump it up because it's sometimes it's difficult to get to the glue once you have the clamps in place. So I'm squeezing it together with my hands as, you know, as hard as I can just to get all the squeeze out that's likely to happen before I put the clamps on. Just put the lid on my glue before I squirt that everywhere. <laughs> what are we doing for time? Okay. Right, so just wipe up a bit more glue, squeeze out. Okay, check for alignment. I think it's right, but I'm not 100% sure right now. Yeah, that looks, looks good to me. I want to be 100% sure it is perfectly aligned before I clamp it all up. But that looks pretty good to me. All seems to be lined up the way it should be. Okay. Just checking, double checking, triple checking, quadruple checking. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'll get a couple of clamps on now. So I'll get the first one on and just kind of nip it up. I don't want to let that joint move until I've got the clamps on. Okay. Right, double check alignment again. Looks good. So I'm going to... Um, alternate these clamps in that I'll put one facing one way and one facing the other way mostly because I don't have a lot of area left on here to get the clamp on so I wouldn't be able to get another one of these this side so with this side that's a bit narrower so that'll be easier okay so Let's get the other clamp in place Looking good. Except the clamp's stuck. There we go. Okay. Just put the shout on a little bit more. So it's in the middle. Okay, so we've got the two clamps on that side and on that side. So once again, just check alignment is, is all good, which it seems to be. And now I'll tighten the clamps down together so I get even pressure. And I'm going to pretty much squeeze them down because I want that joint to be at least as strong as it was before, if not stronger. And... Okay, that's looking good. So I'll just squeeze those clamps down a bit more. Oh, that one's going the wrong way. Good. Okay, 
So that's all clamped up. That will be absolutely fine. Once that's set, that will be that will be as good as new, as strong as it was before. Okay, so that's where we're at at this stage. And uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing next just yet. So I'm going to end this video, have a little think about <coughs> my next uh, video, what I'm going to do. And we'll be moving on from there. So, as I said, you know, this, this is one of the reasons why I don't, you know, edit my videos and, you know, change things around. What I do is I record what's happening, watch it, upload it you get the raw, uncut version of exactly what I'm doing here. And it's, I just, you know, okay, it may not look as professional as some of the other videos out there, but you know that what you see is exactly what's happened. I've not covered anything up. I've not, you know, made it look better than it is or anything like that. Mistakes happen. You deal with them. Simple as that. So, once again, I hope you're enjoying these videos, uh, watching them as much as I am making them. Uh, if so, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe, hit the notification bell and share the video link. And uh, in the meantime, look after yourselves, look after each other. We will see you soon. Peace out.